Okay, so we are back with another record uh, unboxing of video games monthly. Uh, they they have upgraded their boxing since the last time. They used to just have like the little thing stuck to the box. They've got them custom printed now. And uh, what what we do, I know kind of a little bit about custom printing, so I kind of know that this is a little bit more expensive. But it's definitely you know, they have a new slogan, which I don't remember this being there before. Play the past into the future. I don't know if I've seen that slogan anywhere else. So this is like a new slogan. I don't know, but we have a we have a Retron Five, so that's definitely going to be true for us. Yeah, because uh, we'll be able to play these games on the Retron Five for a long time. So let's open it up here. <sighs> okay, so we got our standard, uh, you know, packing cards. Packing cards. Yeah, they talk about. Thank you for choosing them, and talk about the library. Uh, got their bow wrap. Oh, oh, we've been getting these quite a bit. That's pretty cool. I think uh, they do that. Uh, we got a three up though. See, oh, wow. Got, see, it says one up, but it crossed out but three up, so that's cool. Uh, we're actually after this one, I think we're going to be upgrading our subscription and going for a, a larger box, yeah, because uh, we want lots of games, yeah, and so. I'm glad we got this this time, but you know, what's time we're gonna have probably the same amount of games even if we don't get one of those. <gasps> yes! Oh wow! Mick and Mac Global Gladiators. I I know this game's not a good game. I know everyone makes fun of it, but I love this game. And actually, I have a interesting uh, I have an interesting uh, memory of this game when I was younger. Um, I remember playing it, and we just rented it. And uh, we had problems with our cable back then. We had a lot of problems with our cable company, and they, uh, in fact, one time it was, uh, for a reason, our cable from our TV sets uh, was had like a cross connection with the local air uh, airfield, and they were actually getting like signals coming from our house, and uh, it was playing over the like their intercoms and stuff like that. And I don't know why it was our house, but it was our house that did it. And so, anyway, they had to keep on coming back and fixing things and our wiring and stuff with our cable. Well, anyway, uh, I was playing this probably back when this first came out, because I was pretty young. I think this came out in 92 or something. Yeah, yeah, it said 92. And this is probably when it first came out. And um, they had to work on the cable, and so I had to shut off my game. And I was getting pretty far, and so I was pretty mad. So let's say we probably never beat that game. No, I never beat that game. I don't know if I ever rented it again after that because I was so mad, but I actually really excited about it. Uh, okay, so we got some Game Boy games. Word Zap. Um, I believe it's a puzzle game. I don't know. Probably well. some kind of word puzzle game. Probably like yeah. Scrabble or something. I don't know. Uh, Maybe. Uh, they're fun to pass the time around. If if I played on my Game Boy a lot, I probably really enjoy it just to screw around with, but. Actually, I've never been a huge fan of puzzle games, but I do like word games, so I might play it. Uh, okay, next. Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder. You know, this is one of those games that um, I feel like I should... It, if I was cool, I would know who Sean Palmer is. Yeah, if he's not Tony Hawk, then I don't know who he is. I only know Tony Hawk, though, because of the... Video games. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I guess they tried to make the Tony Hawk became like a, a, a well recognized name, but then there was these other guys like Sean Palmer here, and there was what was the BMX guy? Uh, uh, I don't know, Casey I, Jones. It, it might have been Casey something. Anyway, they tried to make them also like household names, like Tony Hawk. It just didn't work out. Like, Sean White, I know, is a uh, uh, like a snowboarder or something. Oh Sean yeah, Sean White yeah. is that his name? That's... I only know I only know that name because of like commercials on TV, and I don't even know if that's the right name. <laughs> I thought it was something. Some reminded me of snow, so I thought that White. That was... I think is is, is the name, but it's not Sean Palmer, so I don't know who he is. Uh, Rugrats, Rugrats in Paris, the movie. Okay, so this was after we stopped. This is well after we stopped watching Rugrats. We watched like G one Rugrats. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, um, I don't. I don't think I watched the uh, the first movie. I, I never watched it. I've watched the first movie to completion one time, uh, but I only. I, it was not for recreational. It was just on. 
Uh, so by the time the first movie came out, we were no longer watching Rugrats. We only watched, you know, the original uh, series. So I don't know anything about Rugrats in Paris. I know that's when they picked up the second, like the other kid, like the uh, girl that's like Chucky's sister now. Um, I don't know anything really that much about it, but I know that that happened in that episode, in that movie. Um, so I. I don't like most of these licensed games like this. And it's not because I don't want to play a Rugrats game. I'd play it, probably play a Rugrats game if it was good. Right. Uh, most most of these games are not that good. Most great. of them are not good. Yeah, most... Uh, it was made by THQ. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I don't really have a problem with, with games that aren't good. And actually, the fact that we got it to this box makes me want to try it out. I, I just wouldn't have bought it myself. And I'm glad to have a Giddy you know, game like that. You know? It'd be kind of fun to screw around in, maybe. And who knows? Maybe I'm dead wrong and it's a fun little platformer or something like that. I don't know what type of game it would be. I'm assuming it would be a platformer. Uh, especially on a Game Boy Color. Okay. Hmm. Urban Champion. Uh, action series. This is a black box game. Oh, okay. This is one of the. Uh, this has to be one of the early games. This is a, a fighter, I guess. I don't know. I've never seen this game before. Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, the NES is not well known for fighters. In fact, I think I heard that it's really hard for them to do them. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they. It's too. It's quite. A, it's like the same guy on this label. I don't know if this label is any indication of what this game is going to be like. But uh, in Double Dragon. In like the, the B mode, I think it was called, or something like that. We have Double Dragon around here somewhere. Yeah, it's over there. It's and, in the stack. Uh, you 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 could fight uh, against someone else, but they had to be the same character as you. And it was you know, something weird about the way uh, the NES worked. But that's you know, um, could be interesting. I'd like to check check that one out for sure because uh, I think this is the only black box game we have. Um. We have... No, no, yeah. Yeah, I think that is. No, well, I guess we have Super Mario Brothers. But this is the only other one. Besides Super Mario Brothers. Everyone has Super Mario Brothers. Uh, obviously, it's not in a box. It's not in the actual black box, which I would love to have. But this is definitely original release style label. Uh, I want to point out that there's a little bit of fuzziness on the camera. Uh, but this cartridge is completely clean. Yeah, uh... The camera is not super great, but yeah, it is strikingly good condition. Uh, it's the best label I've seen in a while. So let's see what the last one here is. Uh, Werewolf: The Last Warrior. The it's last like one. busting out the cartridge. Yeah, you can actually see like chips back there. Uh, Data East makes it. I'm assuming this is a side scrolling beat 'em up of some sort. Uh, yeah, I didn't, didn't realize it at first, but you can actually see like gray there. That's supposed to be the cartridge. And then you actually see the lines of the cartridge there. Like these lines here. So, yeah, that's, that's an interesting cover art. Uh, I have no idea what this is. I don't either. Most of these games, you know, most of the games we get from VGM, I have never heard of. Or never played personally. Uh, except for Mick and Mac, this time, is the only one I've played personally. I'm really excited about that. Uh... 1990s when this came out, so this was you know, a little bit later on. Uh, obviously, they had a little more time to figure out how the NES works, so this is probably a pretty good, decent game for NES. Um, yeah, it was made by D Data, S uh, Data East. It's probably going to be uh, a side-scrolling yeah. fighter. And it's probably going to be pretty decent. Uh, I do like... I kind of... You know, you see the smudge down here? That was obviously some sort of label from someplace on there. I kind of wish they would have left that on. Oh yeah, well, we lo I love markings and labels from uh, wherever uh, games came from, because it's, it's part of the history of that particular cartridge. Yeah, uh, uh, I think, see there was one here, this probably came from some sort of rental store, and they released, they, they took it off. Uh, I don't have a problem with the fact that the label is scratched or anything, because like, none of my labels, except for this Urban Champion, are any good. But I really do like seeing labels from rental stores or stores and stuff like that. Or uh, markings for someone who owned the game yeah. previously. 
It's not like I don't like the game anymore because it's not on there. I just I would actually prefer if it was on there. I think it would even heighten it even more. But I'm, I'm excited to play this. I'm really excited to play Blue Riders, and I'm interested in Urban Champion. And the other games I'll definitely check out at least once. Uh, I actually might enjoy the song, uh, Sean Palmer's one because I kind of like. I don't like snow burning games, but I like screwing around in those type like, like Tony Hawk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But also, there's one last thing here. It's a bit of a swag item, and it is a plastic uh, bottle opener. There's a this type of bottle opener that looks at there's actually a little metal bit there that is where you get your your force from and everything like that. They're pretty neat little things to have, and I it has a video games monthly name on there. And I'm pretty excited about that. So. That's a you know neat little swag item. I always love those. I can't wait to play you know these games, and I really look. I I just really can't wait for the next month's games. Yeah. Uh, uh, games back over here. So uh, we're going to test these games out, uh, but uh, we will see you in the next video probably. Yeah, and uh, definitely looking forward to next month's games. All right. Uh, yeah. Check out. I would, we definitely urge you to check out Video Games Monthly. It's a great service. Yep. All right. We'll see you next time. Yep.